I distinctly remember saying, stop the bus. Yes, stop the bus. Not shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my words. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do those words sound the same? That it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! One fucking job, but you couldn't fucking do that! There's a silver lining. We didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you give oh. food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know? Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little... Yeah, right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us, and we'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! You give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more. You know, chains and wailing, but knowing you, somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplom. <laughs> Well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. RJ Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. No, we'll change all that. Paul, I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we are. Hmm? All right. With this, with the smile. <clears throat> That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now, your mother, your mother, on the hey. other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. And that takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you. In hindsight, and too much distance is built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized it's not me. No, it was the fucking golden path. <laughs> Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Let's see here. Give me the phone. 
Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on, cry for help. Cry for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! help! From your diaphragm! Help! help! Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! Find out what he knows. Terrorists, right? Now, please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. You left the bag on his head? Well, can he breathe? Would you at least punch holes so he doesn't suffocate? Hello. Did we enjoy our time with the CIA? Welcome to Degesh. I apologize for the Spartan accommodations, but you have been a naughty little shit, haven't you? Gallivanting about with a golden path. And poor Paul. Are you still sore about what he did with your little monkey friend? What was his name? Uh, deadpan, dipshit, doorknob? I... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for your ennui. But let me ease him into this humor. You're about to mind fuck the poor boy. Perhaps a little sugar on your shit sandwich? Whatever, you've seen him. He's still breathing. Now go away, I've got work to do. Fine, fine, fine. But I want him alive. With all the bits that count intact. But one last thing. Now, RJ, I know this is hard. But consider this tough love. Prison love. After all, you have a suite with a spectacular view. Oh, and uh, one final piece of advice. I wouldn't sleep too close to the edge. Whatever you say. Get on the floor. Why? Get on the fucking floor! I'm on the floor. What are you doing? What is that? Ah. Uh... You have a lovely, hey, lovely home. No! It's my family. Very charming. Who is this? Oh, I like this. Is this mahogany? Hmm. And look at you. A lovely couple to match a lovely home. Very salt of the earth. You know, I was told that if I ever wanted to experience the hospitality of Utkash, then I had to visit the Ramas. Oh, we questioned everyone too. And everyone said the exact same thing. They are the friendliest. They will talk to anyone. To Anyone, I said. To everyone, they said. Mm. Well, they were so emphatic that I decided I had to see it for myself. <laughs> He's cute. You see, I uh, wanted to warn you. Warn us, sir? Yes. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard, but it's come to my attention that there are some very disreputable people and I'm concerned that these people, these terrorists, well, they might take advantage of your hospitality. Maybe ruin your wonderful reputation. And we wouldn't want that to happen, now would we? No, sir. No. Well, would you allow me to protect you? to ensure your reputation. Please, yes, Kingman. Your wish is my command. <laughs> I'm so glad we could agree on this. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. 
Uh, this should only take a moment. And they say I've lost touch with my subjects. No! They'll kill you! I'm getting pagan. To look to my example and see it as the positive influence it is. Change requires strength. And it is a strength that I know all of you possess. Now, I recently experienced change within my own organization. Miss Knorr and Paul Deplore, after years of dedicated service, have decided to move on. I'm sure you will all join me in wishing them well in their future endeavors. But like them, we must look forward, not back. The attempt on my life is nothing more than a symptom of resistance to change. Rest easy. For Yuma Lao, my trusted commander-in-chief, who oversees our mining operations at the KEO facility, stands between me and any would-be assassin. She would rather die than see any harm come to me. Go ahead, I challenge you. Put her resolve to the test. To summarize, change is good. Embrace it. Your king is alive. Rejoice. And Yuma stands like a sentinel, waiting. Bring it on. Come in! I apologize for the austerity I sent to help home. Chances are you shot that on your way in. Now, before we begin... Ah, to whom am I speaking? The son who returned to scatter his mother's ashes, or the lunatic who has murdered his way to the top of my mountain? If I was speaking to the first guy, then I would say, sit down. Let's be civilized. Enjoy some food. But we tried that before, didn't we? At our first meeting? You sat right here. Paul was off applying voltage to the nipples of your rude little plus one. I stood just like this. And what were my exact words? Stay here, enjoy the Crab Rangoon, don't move, I'll be right back. Now, if you had just listened, just waited for me, then we would have come back here straight away, together, and scattered your mother's ashes. So then you must be the second guy who didn't listen decided instead to join the other monkeys and start throwing his shit around. But I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I call a do-over. Hmm? I say you have two choices. One, you could shoot me, boring, or you could sit down, enjoy some food, and you and I will go scatter your mother's ashes together. So, who did you kill? Hmm? Is it Amitav? Sabal? Doesn't really matter. I already know. I just want to hear you say it. Fuck you. What in this boy? You didn't even blink. <laughs> well, you do realize that you're just giving away your country, right? It's yours. It's always been yours. Kirat is yours. I pulled you off the bus in the first place to pass it on to you. I suppose you can take it back. 
you're halfway there. One down, one to go. Not that I want to put ideas in your head. At least now we know you have a taste for doing what it takes. Well, no more putting it off, I suppose. Hmm. Well, come on. And don't forget your mother. You do realize that urn represents all that's left of the old RJ. The pre kirat RJ. Once you spread those ashes, all the ties you have to that previous life are gone. And then what happens? Well, I suppose you could do what I did after Mohan killed Lakshmana. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? Yes, your father killed your half-sister, and then your mother killed him in return. I simply continued where she left off. I killed so many people for them. But then I realized I was only using Lakshmana's death as an excuse to do whatever I wanted to do. Just as you use those ashes as an excuse to do whatever you want to do. Finally made it. You know the one and only time I walked into this place? I came in a sane man and came out. Like this. You. You will come out a king. Well, go on then. Do what you came here to do. <laughs> 